Why India and Pakistan can never be friends, the rivalry between India and Pakistan is one of the most intense and long-standing conflicts in modern history. Despite sharing deep cultural and historical ties, the two nations remain locked in a cycle of hostility with little hope for lasting peace. The roots of this animosity trace back to the violent partition of 1947, which created both countries amid unimaginable bloodshed over a million dead and 15 million displaced. Unlike other historic enemies who eventually reconciled, India and Pakistan never healed these wounds, allowing hatred to pass through generations. At the heart of the conflict lies Kashmir, a disputed region fought over in three major wars, 1947, 1965, and 1999. India considers it an integral part of its territory, while Pakistan labels it an unresolved dispute, backing separatist militants. Pakistan's military has long used proxy warfare, employing groups like Lashkar-e-Taiba and Haishi Mohammed to attack India while maintaining deniability. Major terrorist attacks, such as the 2008 Mumbai siege, which killed 166 people, and the 2019 Pulwama bombing killing 40 Indian soldiers, have been linked to Pakistan-based militants, further fueling tensions. The power imbalance between the two nations continues to grow. India's economy is now 10 times larger and its military budget is seven times bigger than Pakistan's, while India rises as a global player in groups like the G20 and QUAD. Pakistan struggles with economic instability, relying on repeated IMF bailouts. Both countries possess nuclear weapons, bringing them dangerously close to war during crises like Karjal 1999 and Balakot 2019. While nuclear deterrence prevents all-out war, it also paralyzes any meaningful peace process. Beyond territorial disputes, identity politics deepens the divide. Pakistan defines itself as an Islamic republic in opposition to India's secular democracy, with school textbooks promoting anti-India narratives. Meanwhile, the rise of Hindu nationalism in India reinforces Pakistan's perception of India as an existential threat. In Pakistan, the military dominates politics and relies on the India threat to justify its power, making peace against its interests. Public opinion on both sides remains deeply hostile, with media fueling nationalist rhetoric and making compromise politically toxic. Occasional confidence building measures like trade agreements or pilgrim visas provide temporary relief, but the fundamental rivalry remains unresolved. Kashmir has no solution acceptable to both proxy wars persist, and nuclear arsenals ensure the conflict remains frozen indefinitely. The tragic reality, geography made them neighbors, but history, ideology, and politics have made them permanent enemies. While full-scale war may be avoided, genuine friendship between India and Pakistan seems impossible under current realities. This is one of the world's most intractable conflicts destined to continue with no end in sight. What do you think? Can India and Pakistan ever reconcile? Or is their hostility irreversible? Share your thoughts in the comments.